And breaking now, a jury convicts R. Kelly in his New York sex trafficking trial. The singer now facing charges here in Illinois. First at four starts now. Good afternoon. I'm Sally Schulze. And I'm Corey McFerrin. And for Anthony tonight, moments ago, a jury found R. Kelly guilty on all accounts in his New York trial. Let's go to Elizabeth Matthews, who is breaking down the details for us. Elizabeth. That's right, guys. The three-time Grammy winner has been found guilty in that New York federal trial. That conviction could send him to prison for life. But, of course, his uh, court proceedings, they're not over yet. He's facing similar charges here in the state of Illinois, also in Minnesota. The jury, made up of seven men and five women, only took about a day and a half to come to this conclusion to find him guilty. This federal trial was heavily based on victim statements, six of them claiming the R&B singer had sexually abused and assaulted them when they were underage, using his fame to stop them from talking, to, from speaking out against the activity at the time. Fifty witnesses took the stand, R. Kelly, whose real name is Robert Sylvester Kelly, did not. He was found guilty on all nine counts, including racketeering, sex trafficking, and violating the Mann Act, which makes it illegal to transport someone across state lines for immoral purposes. A predator who used his inner circle to ensnare underage girls and young men and women for decades in a sordid web of sex abuse, exploitation, and humiliation. To the victims in this case, your voices were heard and justice was finally served. Of course, Mr. Kelly is disappointed. He was not anticipating this verdict because based on the evidence, why should he anticipate this verdict? When you go over to Discovery, you saw witness after witnesses giving three, four, five different versions as to what they said happened here. They cherry-picked a version and ran with that version. They totally ignore the inconsistencies uh, that all of these witnesses gave. R. Kelly's sentencing will now be in May. Here in Illinois, he's facing federal charges for sex abuse and sex assault. Up in Minnesota, he's facing more sex crime charges, included to uh, uh, related to engaged in prostitution with a minor. Live in the Plaza, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. Elizabeth, thank you. We'll be following this story both on air and online. You can stay up to date using our Fox 32 app.